Hey everyone, it's Richard Metalfan here for you guys a brand new 2024 album review. First new release of 2024 to review this year. And today, as you can see below the title today, we're going to be talking about the new album Limitless by the band Any Given Day, okay, which is out now through Rising Empire Records. Now for those of you who aren't familiar with Any Given Day, they're a metalcore band based out of Germany, been around since 2012. And... I discovered this band back in 2016, 2017. I was checking out one of, I saw like one of their videos was like on my recommendations on YouTube. Checked them out, pretty much dug what I heard. Um, and then they've been putting out their albums since their first album, which hard to believe this year does mark the 10 year anniversary of, of that being My Longest Way Home, which I thought was a pretty good debut album. And I loved how they had some guest appearances. Um, they had one song which had like Matt from Trivium be um, guesting on that and I thought that was a pretty good song and then they have their second album Everlasting and which is honestly my introduction to any given day and ever since then I've been a fan I remember hearing the song Endurance and ever since then I've pretty much been hooked on the band since um and then their previous album Overpower I thought that was a pretty good album but here we are with the band's fourth full length album Limitless so does this live up or exceed what Overpower has in my honest opinion, I think it definitely has. I think the band and definitely stepped up their gate eats or stepped up the production and on this. Production on this album is just great. Um let's just talk about like the vocal work from uh, Dennis Dial. P forgive me if I butcher any names of the band members, but Dennis's vocals, I just love his god rolls are just gotten really low. Um and if his growling has just improved, it just sounds a lot more powerful and a lot heavier. Here, and I think he does really great. And then his clean vocals are shine really well. Well, some of the songs on the album, like the title track, and they I don't know, it's just like he puts like a lot of emotion into his clean singing. Um, and then the guitar work from uh, Andy Podjic and Dennis Ter Smitten, both D Dennis and Andy both come up with some really great riffs, like the, the riffs that Dennis are come up with are great, and then the leads that Andy plays is pretty good. The bass on this album, I kind of wish it was a little audible from uh, Michael Galinsky. Wish you could have heard it a little bit more. And then drumming wise, uh, Leon Stiller or, or does a really great job with the drums. So probably rambled on for almost three minutes. So let's dive into this album track by track. Now starting things off is Get That Done, which I believe is a really great way to start off this album. It's a crushing opener, or which just really a lot to expect from any given day it has like a great mixture of like the clean and harsh vocals and dennis has a really great range and his expressive style which acts like another instrument meaning that any given day is like a band that is just far bigger than like all the other metalcore bands from their scene like caliban or heaven shall burn um Next up is Unbreakable. Now, this song is a very guitar-driven song. I just love how, like, the guitars on here from Dennis and Andy just harmonize sort of like those classic 80s metal band, like Iron Maiden, Judas Priest. And the drumming here is just really fast and just full of blast beats, and it's just really just dr really drives the song. And the chorus in here is really catchy. It's just like earworm music. Next up is the title track, Limitless. Now, when I first heard this song, I didn't know what to think about it. I thought this was like a, <laughs> and forgive me if I get shit for this, like a German Five Finger Death Punch. But listening to this a few times, I feel like they take what that Five Finger Dick Punch does, but make it a lot better. And it's another banger, I should say. Um, Moving on to Come Whatever May. Now, Come Whatever May is a very different sounding song on the album. Um, it's pretty much what I would consider sort of like the most experimental song that any given day has done. It has kind of like a southern kind of country vibe to it. And I first thought it was kind of strange, but upon further listening to it, it's very catchy mid-paced. And it just goes right in the middle, just goes right back to the heaviness that the band is pretty much known for. Um, next song on the album is called Apocalypse. Now, Apocalypse is actually the first single released from the album back in 2022. It's just a very grooving song and just some really good chugging guitars it's just a overall makes it a really good song um 
Moving on to Shockwave. Now, Shockwave is one of the heaviest songs on the album. And I love how, like, the guitars and the drums, like, link up really perfectly. And the balance between Dennis's clean and harsh vocals work really well. And I just think it's just, it's, I don't know, just like the way he switches between the two different vocal styles is really amazing and it shows the case how the band is really talented and i love how the song just ends just perfectly with the heaviness that's how it, it started um moving on to best time now best time is a kind of like i would consider kind of like the most melodic song on the album musically and lyrically from the song it really fits well with the title and the vocals here are mostly clean you know, instead it shows his emotion, although there is some, like, harsh vocals a little bit on the, this song, song, but this song, like, when I keep listening to it, has sort of, like, a positive kind of, like, vibe throughout, just kind of, like, that song that, like, gives you, like, inspiration, sort of, like, gives you hope. Um, My Way is up next. Now, My Way, in my opinion, is probably the darkest song on the album. It's very aggressive, too, and even with the clean vocal on this song it still feels heavy it doesn't really like change or take away from anything and the solo in here is probably one of the best on this album like just like this andy just comes with some really great solos on this entire album and next up is uh hate now this song features a guest uh, appearance from uh, annie is okay which is another german band and this song sort of like blends sort of like the signature hard-hitting riffs and relentless energy that any given day a has with sort of like the style that any is okay has and it creates a very kind of like unique kind of sound which pretty much would appeal to like both fans of both bands um and then the last two songs on the album being broken guardian and shadow walker i think those are really great songs i really love how the placement of like this or like the sequencing of the album is just perfect i think those two songs just really just sums up the album as a whole and i think it's a great way to end this album now, overall, Limitless by Any Given Day, a pretty good album. I, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I'm really hoping that they come and tour the States eventually because I would love to see them. So, yeah, if I were to give this album a score, I'm going to give Limitless by Any Given Day a solid 8.5 out of 10. So, yep, yeah, that's my review of the new, new album, guys. Let me know what the conscious guys think about it, and I'll see you all in the next video. And as always, keep it metal.